Webster's. So welcome back. And like we've said that we are going to come up with a TCS and registration video. Yes, you heard it right. We are here with it. TCS has been announced. And if you haven't watched the announcement video, it make sure you go watch that first. We've shared all the details over there, and then you come up here and start off with the registration. Now, two pointers. The first is why is the registration video important? Because there are so many students who fill in the form incorrectly, and then they stand by losing their uh, hall tickets. So last year, ten percent of the students did not get the hall tickets because they. submitted uh, the application form incorrectly and the hall tickets were cancelled so make sure that you watch the entire video up till the very end to uh, you know put the process in the absolute right place all right so make sure that you don't go wrong in the application process in the registration process watch this entire video and the second thing since the competition is very high a lot of people are going to apply 4.5 lakh students are going to apply but only 15000 will be hired so since there's a bulk of students are going to apply the website might crash so don't worry even if the website crashes you are going to get it right in place all right so we are going to start off with the announcement so as you can see the tcs nqt uh, fresher hiring has been announced and as you quickly click on this page you are going to land here all right tcs and qt your passport to a million dreams yes a million dreams because a million of students will be applying to this particular try all right quickly taking you through the information if you need more information please go watch the announcement video we have announced tcs over there and we talked about everything in details now quickly talking about the dates registration status is open registration status open not closed anymore it's open to you registration end date is wednesday 10th of april 2024 so not many days left but make sure that whenever you're applying for the registration process you take your time sit with some water some snacks uh sit with a laptop with my with a video playing and then start off with the registrations all right test date is april 26 so again not much time left you don't even have a complete month so your preparation shoes must be on right away after you apply All right. Quickly talking about the information. Um, all of you, 2024 batch students, all of you are eligible. Even if you are from B Tech, B E, M Tech, M E, M C, M S C, or M S, any uh, degree of engineering, you are eligible. Quickly coming down. Application process start off starting off with the next step portal. We'll talk about it uh, in the entire video. Just giving you a quick heads up that the hiring categories are three: Ninja, Digital, and Prime. Ninja with uh, the uh, given details right over in front of you, right. So you will have to have good level of technical knowledge for digital and a prime role. If you want to be selected as a prime profile, you will have to have very great and advanced level of uh, competitive coding knowledge. So make sure that you are ready for that. All right. So let's start off with the registration. More information on the. eligibility criteria recruitment process test pattern all will be there in front of you on your youtube feed so make sure subscribe to our youtube channel and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video for tcs or if you start off with the registrations here once you're on this page the registration link will be there in the description box so make sure you get the link from there and start off with the uh, registrations or right, so let's quickly click here once you click here you're going to land on the next step portal page and once you are here start off with the registrations now if you're already a registered user on next step portal click on login once you click here you're going to have to enter your reference id i hope you have it with you click on reference id or your email id enter the captcha you will be sent an otp on your email and then you will be have to you will have to enter that otp and start off with the registration if not click on register now if you are a new user on uh, tcs next step portal register now and then the process begins All right, so yes, let's start off. Let's click on register now. Since we are registering for the TCS on campus or off campus drives, the main motive that we use it the uh, IT sector. All right, so we have to click on the information technology sector over here. If TCS comes for the BPS sector, they'll notify you, and you will have to select the BPS sector. All right, so IT sector it is. So we, the first thing that you have to do, the first step is to uh, input your email ID. Now, this email ID should be the one that is active, that is handy to you, the passwords of which you have not forgotten. All right, because this is where you will be receiving all the further information about TCS registration dates, uh, examination dates, selection, rejection. Everything is going to be sent out on this mail. So make sure that this particular ID is a registered and active ID. 
all right also please use your uh, personal email id and not your college email id because that is what is mentioned right over here so make sure that you are following every terms and conditions before you move on with each step all right moving forward uh, first let's enter the uh, email id over here okay so i have this email id along with me which is not registered uh, on the next step portal now click on get otp once you do that um just a second all right so an otp has been sent to my email address i'll just quickly put in uh, the uh, otp over here and get back to you okay so otp is inserted let's move forward uh, show password don't say now moving forward now what we need is your aadhar card information all right so make sure you have your aadhar card you have your mark sheets and everything right in front of you whenever you are filling up this form also some a uh, glass of water will also be enough because it's going to be a tedious process all right so we're going to fill in the aadhar card number please fill in your aadhar card number which is linked to your mobile number all right uh, don't put in any other aadhar card numbers they are going to verify you so you cannot play smart over here so i'll just insert that your first name your first name your middle name your surname everything has to be in place because the information that you input right over here is going to be pre filled in your application form which you cannot change later so make sure that you are filling up the form absolutely correctly all right your date of birth again so um, i'm just going to insert this date of birth here okay now very important criteria that uh, tcs has also put in their uh, application forms is that your age should be between 18 to 28 all right so your birth of year right that, that means your date of birth your uh, 10th year your 12th year and your college year all of this is important so do not put in any misinformation about your year don't miscalculate your years please make sure that you know which was the starting year which was the ending year which was the passing out year of your academics and of your date of birth as well all right the dates are very very important even a minor mistake in your dates can lead to your candidature or your hall tickets being cancelled all right so aadhar card numbers uh, details filled in let's move towards our gender and the title so you quickly put in your uh, title over here your gender it automatically picks up your gender and then we just put in the uh, phone number again a phone number should be a primary phone number because you're going to receive communication on that particular phone number itself all right so your uh, college name should be here i'll just quickly fill it in over here your qualification should be a uh, sense is it about it is for the btech students so we are going to use bachelor of technology all right if you belong to a uh, msc or you belong to um, any other stream that is bachelor of engineering all of those streams are eligible over here please know your eligibility and then fill in this particular form since we are filling it for the btech students our audiences we are going to fill in bachelor of technology here passing out here is 2024 All right now nearest TCS office TCS might have in center exams after covid or uh, online exams you never know so please fill in the nearest TCS office that if it's in center you will have to go there all right so just putly uh, putting in the captcha over here let me just do that okay um s o oh. I hope I'm correct. I'm not mistaking. All right. So you are going to get this particular information right in front of you. Please confirm this information. If it's incorrect, go back, change it. So your name, your email ID, and your phone number has to be in place. All right. So once you do that, please confirm over here. If you think that there's something wrong, please go back and correct it. Now, this is where you get your CT reference or your DT reference ID. Please make sure that you're screenshotting this particular message or this particular page. You have the CT DT reference number saved with you somewhere or the other because it might want you to fill in this form when you come back for the application form. All right, put in the app uh, captcha over here. I'll just quickly do that. Okay, and then next. Once do next, you are going to receive another OTP on your mail ID, right? So quickly input that over here. I'll do that. Just give me a second. All right, my OTP is here. I'm going to quickly log in. Once you click on log in, you are now logged in onto the next step portal, and now you can start off with the application form. Like I told you, it's going to be a tedious process. That was only the preliminary stage. Now we are going to move towards the actual application form. You are on the portal over here. Click on this application form right over here on the left panel. 
and once you click on that you move towards the main application form now there are four uh, criteria that we have to fill in the first is personal details academic and work experience details other details and application form preview and declaration all right so let's start filling the form so click on this particular button over here start filling the form and we come on the first page now as you can see your uh, first data that you had filled in the previous form is already pre-filled so your phone number your date of birth your gender and your name everything is here all right starting off with your father's name um we'll just quickly do that over here fill in your father's name your gender is there your date of birth is here now your house number apartment name block number so your uh, address is asked over here that's a permanent address all right so where you have been living which is a permanent address you will not be changing that address so we need that address over here all right um so we'll just quickly insert this address area or landmark um let's just write let's just give in ex not give extra details india since we are from india we just write over here the state that we are in the city that we are in and the pin codes i'll just quickly enter this pin code over here all right now they're asking the question are the permanent and uh, present address same this means that if you're living where right now wherever you're living is it the same address that you're living in if not please enter your present address as well if it's the same click on yes it will be pre-filled again if no click on no and then fill in the information here or let's we're going to click on yes and move forward right um then we can just move forward with save and continue all right so if you have any alternate email ids please enter that email id over here if you have any alternate phone number please uh, put in that over here and then save and continue now we move towards academic and work experience details please follow each of these step one by one academic details is very important this is where most of the students go wrong and if you go wrong your hall tickets will be cancelled guys so i don't want that you don't want that so follow me step by step all right so highest qualification instructions are already given over here please read these inst instructions carefully so highest qualification category details institute name already pre-filled because we had pre-filled over there highest qualification bachelor of technology year of passing is 2024 all right because they're asking for 2024 this year all right let's move towards graduation so bachelor of technology is going to be our stream now since the uh College, pa college year is of four years, so you have to calculate that way. Since you're moving out in 2024, right? So you have to make sure that you put in proper information. So we're going to move forward with the calculations. If you're moving out in 2024, that means we are going to enter in 2020, right? So I'll just put quickly put in the information here. And let me just end it on April 1st. All right, so 2024, April ended. It's going to be a full-time because CCS generally asks for a full-time course and not a part-time course. And that's not eligible. Specialization. Um, we'll just go for computer science. All right, computer science over here. Now, CGP. I would love myself to be, a, you know, to be a brilliant student. So out of 10, I think I would rate myself, uh, let's say 7, 7 CGPA. All right, so that's 62.50%. So above 60%, that is what your uh, eligibility criteria is at 60%. So if it's above 60%, you are eligible. All right, um, moving forward, so click on save and continue after you fill in each information. Save and continue, move towards the second one, that is 12th grade. All right, please select the relevant course 12th grade or equivalent diploma. So if you have done diploma, please enter the details of your diploma here. Specialization, let's just write science over here. I'm sorry for the spelling. A university or institute, I'll just quickly fill in here my institute. Um, okay, there's something. Okay, Board of Education, ICSE. All right, now course duration. Now what they have mentioned right over here is very important to understand. Please mention only your 12th duration in your 12th grade details. Do not include 11th duration. So you only have to enter details of one year and not two different years, right? So since we have started college in 20. 20 we are going to end 12th in 2020 that means 2019 should be our starting year all right so we quickly move here select march 30th to be the starting year and the ending should be in 2020 all right so we end in 2020 all right so that's going to be your year please understand that 
you are passing out here and you are uh, starting your should match all of the information should match with your details that you are providing all right again it's going to be a full time uh, marks let's quickly go with total uh, let's go with cgpa itself so total was 10 cgpa and i have achieved 8 cgpa all right so that's cal that calculates my percentage as 80 percent moving forward save and continue um uh, all right so 12th form uh, from or two date is overlapping with graduate form or two date so that means we will have to remove this date from here and let's do it ending uh, in february all right i hope that does it so exactly what I was saying. So if you enter any wrong details about the dates or minor details, that's going to take you off the charts and get your hall ticket cancelled. 10 to 20% of students got that guys um, last year. So don't do that mistake. All right. So we uh, let's start off with the 10th details of Zealand Convent. That is where I'm from. All right. A board of education again ICSC is what now we need only please mention only your 10th duration in your 10th grade details don't enter in 9th or 11th duration right so now since we had completed 2019 we started our 12 that means 2018 we started off with our 11th and 2017 we started off with our 10th right so we're going to use 2017 over here so 2017 starting off um, in the month of April right and then we end in 2018 uh, all right let's end in the month of march okay again grading system total marks obtained the total cgpa is 10 and i had received eight again so that's 80 percent all right so i have 60 percent in all my academics and uh, highest degree as well which is the least eligibility criteria all right so that is done again save and continue now any other qualification have you done any other course if you have done any other course click on yes and fill in this particular information if you haven't again click on no the information that you provide over here should be absolutely correct and your dates should be matching with the certificates all right i'm going to quickly click on no over here and then save and continue so ni uh, nac tech details have you taken the nascom assessment of competency technology nac test if you have click on yes if you haven't please click on no if you have and you will be have to uh, you'll have to fill in all the details over here so i'll quickly click, uh, click on no and then save and continue work experience do you have any relevant work experience if you have please fill in the information over you can just quickly add a new row Fill in the information, employee ID, name of the employer, address, employment type, duration from and to, designation, duty and salary as well. So you'll have to fill in this information. But since I'm, I don't like, uh, teachers generally come for the freshers until and unless you're a master's degree student. If you're a fresher, you don't need to put in any work information if you haven't already done that. All right. So I don't have any. So I'm going to quickly click on no and then save and continue. Moving towards declaration, have you taken any break in studies? So TCS doesn't allow, uh, allows only two years of break in studies, right? So if you have, you will have to provide more information about that. All right, mention duration and reason, but I'm going to click on no over here. Do you have, have you done any other courses? If yes, please put in the information over here. If no, click on no and then move forward. Do you have any pending backlogs currently? If yes, please select how many active backlogs are there. It only it does not allow any backlogs guys you do not you should not be having any active backlogs if you have you should get it cleared before you apply for tcs all right so i'm going to quickly click on no um if you have any details or of your academic projects please uh, do that and mention it right over here moving forward declaration you have taken all subject marks into consideration for calculating the obtained total marks yes we have um so you have to calculate all of your subject marks together and then fill in this form all right the marks obtained entered by you for each of the above mentioned academic qualification has been secured in the first attempt if second attempt please click on no and then provide details later whenever they ask all right so i'm going to quickly read all of these um as per tcs um l selection guidance do not have any extended education yes you have declared break-in studies yes i have if you haven't that's going to be incorrect please do that you have not attended the tcsl selection process in the last six months so if you have um this is one query that uh, students ask for six months of duration. That is the gap that they need for your selection process. So if you have six months of duration, that's going to be the optimum best. So you cannot apply for TCS if you have already applied for TCS in the last six months. All right. Um, you have read the eligibility criteria. Yes. Now, once you declare these, click on I agree and then we can save and continue. 
Once that's done, we are moving towards the other detail section. This is where you talk about your achievements, your certification, the languages that you know. All right. So nationality and languages known. Nationality is going to be India. Now, whatever languages that I know should be inputted over here. So let's just quickly add a new row. So I know English. I'm going to quickly put in English over here. I can speak, read and write. But is it my mother tongue? No, it's not my mother tongue. So I'm going to quickly add another language over here. I know Hindi over here. So yes, I can speak. I can read. I can write. And that's my mother tongue as well. If you have any other language, please put in over here. Moving forward, languages certification. If you have any certification, including English, please select the certification from list below. Now, let's say, for example, that you know French and you have a French certification, right? You will first have to add that over here, that certification language, and only then you can add the certification over here. So let me just quickly show that to you. Let's say that I add French over here. All right. So there will be a pop up that says, please add details for this language in languages known section before adding certification. So you will first have to add French over here and then you can add French in the certification section, right? That goes with any other language. So I'm going to remove this from here. All right. Um, I'm going to remove this from here. I don't have any extra certification. So I'm also going to remove this. But if you have, please put in the information. Save and continue. Moving towards achievements. So if you have any other extra achievements, any other extra certification, please input that detail over here. Add new certification. Select the certification that you have and then you can move forward. Since I don't have, so I'm going to quickly remove that and save and continue. Moving towards uploading your photo or CV. This is where you upload your photograph and your CV. Make sure that you have your CV updated with all the details, all the skills, all the certification that you have uh, received recently all right so your first name is needed here i'll just quickly do that your last name blood group so if you don't know your blood group get your blood check up guys get your blood checked up all right so i need to upload my photo and cv so i'll quickly do that and get back to you just give me a second All right, so my photograph and my uh, CV has been uploaded. So I'm going to save and continue over here. All right, now this is the final declaration and application form preview page. So some security details very quick. Are you involved in any pending or criminal cases? If yes, click on yes. If no, click on no. So I'm going to click on no because I am not in any. Are you involved in any pending or closed disciplinary malpractices? No, I'm not. Moving forward, application form preview. Guys, application form preview is very important. Why am I saying that? Because what happens is uh, students, uh, they just click on application preview and they fail. I'm sorry. Yeah, they just click on application preview and they don't submit the form. They just think that, oh, this is completely done. So I'm done with the form. No, that's not it. This is that's the application form preview so that you can check all of the details that you have mentioned right this is for you to check but what you have to do is get back to the form and then submit the form over here application preview is not the end this is another reason why people don't receive their hall tickets because they don't know that they have not submitted the form they have only previewed the form all right so declaration over here again have you appeared for teachers in the last six months if yes please fill in the details over here if no not needed Moving forward, read the terms and conditions over here. Click on I agree. The date is already pre-filled over here. Let's quickly fill the place and then finally submitting the application form. This is the main page where you get the chance to apply for the TCS recruitment drive. Once you click on submit application, you get this pop up instantly and you have to click on yes to start applying for the TCS. So click on yes. Next, what comes up is the, app, uh, the application for TCS recruitment drive form. This is the, the form that you have just filled, uh, filled was the TCS next step portal. So if you've already um, filled, in, filled in the TCS next step portal form, you will have to navigate through the uh, left menu to apply for this particular drive. But if you're a new person who is applying for this particular drive, you will get this pop up once you submit the application. So let's quickly fill this form here. What you have to do is uh, nearest test center. So this is probably not going to be an online examination, but an in-center examination. So click here to select the nearest test center. I'm going to select Delhi. Okay, let's click Ghaziabad. Okay, 
and the next is preferred job location so they have three different job locations for you so we start off with the first location that is uh, let's click delhi preferred job location two uh, let's go to hyderabad maybe and preferred job location three so wherever you think uh, you can go and settle down for a particular job if you're selected for tcs that is the place where you will have to select as your preferences all right once you do that you select all the four places you are just going to click on apply and your application to the TCS recruitment drive will be successful so let's start clicking on apply and you have applied for recruitment drive so this is the message that pops up and once you have completely applied for this you are going to get a mail uh, and once the drive is successful voila you can now start preparing for TCS and um, start off with your uh, placement journey now if you are someone who has already um, logged into or registered onto TCS Next Step portal previously, right? So what do you have to do? All you need to do is log into your profile by clicking on the login option. Once you log in, you are going to come to this particular page, which is the home page. So let's quickly get to there. Once you are here, you only have to look for this particular option, apply for drive in the left menu. Once you click on this, you are going to get the same form that we just filled uh, a few minutes ago, where you have to choose your required location, your test center and the preferred location of one, two and three. All right. Once you do that and submit, you're again going to get this particular message. Once everything is done, now you are a successful candidate for the TCS drive and you can start off with your preparations for the TCS recruitment examination. All right. Now, if you want to track your application, you can again log on to TCS Next Step portal using your reference ID or your mail and the captcha. Once you get that done, you can come and track your application here. Once you click on track my application, this is what you get right here. All right. So apply for drive application receive and candidate registration. All right. So that is going to be your complete registration process. So now that we are done with the registration process, it's time that you start off with your preparations. And like we've told that you will have to prepare for three different categories. First is Ninja, Digital and Prime. The Ninja is the most basic role with a 3.36 LPA for the UG candidates and undergraduates and 3.53 for the postgraduate students. And accordingly, the packages increase with an increase in profile. Digital stands at 7 and 7.3. Prime stands at 9 and 11.5 for undergraduates and postgraduates respectively. Now, what is difference? What is the different? Uh, the Prime is the innovative profile. They have changed the nomenclature to Prime now. All right. So this is the most uh, premium level. One percent of the students are going to get hired for this particular role. So make sure you have a great, great knowledge in coding. DSA, you have good number of skills, you have good number of projects and everything in place if you want to be a part of the prime profile. If not, you at least need some good skills and some good projects for the digital profile. And for the Ninja profile, you should at least have one or more skill and one or more project, right? So projects and skills are very important. Teachers right now is putting a lot of focus on projects and we have got you covered there. Like, uh, like the word stands prep and stuff prime, it sufficiates the role of TCS Prime, right? So we are here for you if you want to get uh, placed in the Prime profile, try Prep Insta Prime. Also, since it's an in-centered examination, you're not going to have a lot of scope in hand. So yes, you start off with your preparations right away. You don't have a lot of time. Start off with skills. Since uh, it's going to take some time for you to reach the interview process, you can uh, put the skills and the project at a backseat and start off with aptitude and coding. Make sure you do that. The examination process we have taken care of. We start off with coding. Then we move towards the uh, DSAs. If you want to get placed in the prime profile or the digital profile, DSA and competitive coding is very important, guys. I'm reiterating and re-focusing uh, on this multiple times. Please make sure you get that done. You get that in place moving down since aptitude is the first part of recruitment process we have uh, uh, we have your back here start off with quants logical verbal di and uh, visual reasoning since you're going to have the foundation and the advanced section make sure you get that done in place don't miss any corner any nook so that um, you know you don't even miss one single chance of getting placed because if you don't get placed we are going to be sad coming down we also have a tcs nqt 
digital prime specific course so you can come over here and check out the entire course here we have multiple mock tests for you we have interview preparation so we don't just cater to your recruitment uh, examination preparation we also cater to your resume preparation and your interview preparation your skills your projects and everything right so we have got you covered 360 degree with your tcs and qt preparation coming down projects are very important very important guys i am re-emphasizing on it multiple times because projects are the new orange or the new black right you have to complete it cs subjects we have you for the technical interview you need good knowledge of cs subjects pseudo code automata fix because they throw puzzles at you right on the spot you have to solve coding questions puzzles and everything coming down interview experiences you can also take a look at the interview experiences like i told you the written test sorted with prep and star prime interview section sorted with prep and star prime resume preparation sorted upskilling with projects and uh, multiple skills everything sorted with prep and star prime so with prep and star prime you can get tcs prime right isn't that a good quote so if you want to help out your friends or yourself make sure you get prep and star prime because we are the king in the market for tcs and there's no doubt so yes, you can come over here, check out the entire thing, make sure you have good level of basic knowledge, intermediate competitive coding knowledge, DSAs, don't budge on that. You can also use the coupon code YouTube. So that's the great news. You can use the coupon code YouTube to get maximum off right away on Prep and Star Prime. So you can come over here, click on Get Prime. Once you click here, you'll be redirected towards our um, main plans and you can select 12 months i would suggest get 12 months because uh, what happens is even even if there's one point uh, possibility of not getting placed or even if you get placed it's time it's the chance for you to upskill yourself and get your salary increased right so yes get a 12 months plan you can all 12 months or more apply the coupon code youtube over here and then you are good to go right so yes that's also all the best for your preparation we have registered for tcs now let's start preparing start preparing with prep Insta prime for tcs prime all right thank you so much for watching this video make sure you uh, subscribe to our youtube channel as well so that you get notified whenever we drop a new video for tcs preparation which we are going to drop multiple so thank you for watching this video we'll see you again